Transform your S Pen compatible device into a pressure sensitive graphic tablet with this. How do you do that? I'm gonna show you in a few seconds how. Hi and welcome. How are you doing? The weather is a bit cold and it's really cloudy. So let's go to the part you were waiting for. How do you transform your Samsung Galaxy Note or your S Pen compatible Samsung tablet into a pressure sensitive tablet? So let's go to the part you were waiting for. Other devices may work too, but you will not have the pressure sensitive part. To do that, you're going to use an app called Superscreen. It's a paid software, but it's really cheap. It costs only around 10 euros. A graphic tablet from XP Pen or Wacom is going to cost way more. They usually cost hundreds of euros or dollars if you want one with a screen. To set it up, it's really easy. Just download the software for your PC and for your mobile device. Enable developer options and then USB debugging. Open the app on your phone and then connect it over USB or Wi-Fi. Then you are ready to start. I'm using a Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G. Here we are in Photoshop. Here we are going to make a new layer. There you go. And then we're going to draw something in the sky. So let's pick a color. So let's take some kind of blue or something like that. This one. And then we're going to draw. Here you can see when I just press with just a little force, the line is really thin. But if I press harder on the pen, you can see that the line is getting thicker. So. That's the beauty of using a graphic tablet in Photoshop because you have the pressure sensitive part. It's like a mouse, but a mouse just knows pressed and unpressed. Here you have a lot of different pressure points. I think this S Pen has over 4000, so let's draw, then we can zoom. Let's make our brush bigger and now let's continue to draw. And then we're going to maybe to change the blending mode to see what comes out of it. I hope you've got the point why I like to use a graphic tablet so much compared to the mouse because it's way more convenient and you are a way more precise than with a mouse. You can see that I'm almost done. Let's do some here and then draw a bit over here. Now, here, and then a bit here. And now let's change the blending mode. So let's try color. Wait, it didn't work. You can see that even hovering works like a, a real graphic tablet. So let's choose soft light. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like it and a subscription would be marvelous. See you in the next one and take care of yourself.